Hello, my name is Elian Köstos, I'm from Germany. I'm a um, 30 years old, I'm a PhD student at uh, Tallinn University of Technology and the University um, Otto von Gehrig University of Magdeburg. My research topic is uh, structural health monitoring for hydrokinetic turbines. So what are hydrokinetic turbines? Those are like wind turbines underwater. They use the water velocity to produce energy. And what is a structural health monitoring? This is onla an online monitoring of the dynamics of the system in order to infer the um, integrity of it. So to see if there is a crack or if there's something happening which is not supposed to be happening to the blade. Those hydrokinetic turbines are often used in a, in a tidal turbine environment. So they're used in, in a, where there's a lot of water, water velocity to, to, due to the tides. And the benefit of, of tidal turbines is that they're very predictable in their energy generation. So we have um, four cycles, two four ebb and flow cycles every day. And each of those cycles will produce energy predictably. The idea of SMART is how can we deal with damage like what can we do about damage of robots? Um, so the idea is okay when we, if we want to repair something or if you want to have something that is um, self-repairing, it would also make sense to actually know where the damage is. So first you know where the damage is and when we can also be able to, to, to do something about it. And actually knowing where damage is is not that easy. That's quite a quite a complicated thing to do. You need to have a model. So first you have sensors which which sense what is happening to the Earth system, but then you also need to have a model which makes sense of the data because the data is often just like looks like a random walk. You cannot really make sense of it unless you have a model. So it's more based on the robotics part. And it would then cross over to the materials part if you would then have material which is also able to do something about that damage. I was meeting a lot of researchers which of whose research topic was not directly the same as mine, but that was interesting to see, okay, what is what is their topic to kind of have like um, a connecting path so we were able to talk about this and what connects our different research topics and how we can connect it.